Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll be learning the core concepts of Playwright. So let's first analyze what steps do we perform manually when we want to do something in a browser. Well, we would first select which browser should we use, Chrome or Safari or Firefox or any other. Once we have made that selection, we then proceed to launching an instance of that selected browser. Now, once we have that opened, we create a new tab to work in. Well, in most cases, a tab is by default open for us. And we can create more tabs as and when required. Then, we go to our desired URL and do all the things that we need to do there. And once we are done, we close the browser. So, when working with Playwright, these are the same steps that we perform. So the very first thing that we need to do is select a browser type that we would be working with. Browser type could be Chromium, Firefox or WebKit. Say we would like to work with Firefox. So we would import it like this. Now using the browser type, we can launch a browser instance. That means an instance of Chromium, Firefox or WebKit. Because we imported Firefox, we'll be able to launch Firefox browser instance using it. To launch a browser instance, we use browser type dot launch method. This will launch a Firefox instance in headless mode. Now there's a very interesting concept of browser context in Playwright. Browser context provide a way to operate multiple independent browser sessions. We can create a browser context using browser.newContext. This will create an isolated incognito-like session within the browser instance. It won't share cookies or cache with any other browser context and won't write any browsing data to disk. Now once we have this incognito-like session, we can create multiple pages using it. A page is essentially a tab in the browser or pop-up window. We can create a new page using context.newPage. Now, page provides methods to interact with the elements on the page or the browser tab. So you can go to a certain URL, perform operations like click, type some data and search on any element that exists there. And hence, this is where all the fun lies. So, for example, to go to our desired URL, we can use the go to method of the page. And finally, once we are done with all that we wanted to do in the script, we can go ahead and close the browser. Let's do a quick recap. So, to start with, we select a browser type. The browser type could be Chromium, Firefox or WebKit. Using the browser type's launch method, we create a browser instance of that browser type. Then we start a browser context so that we have an isolated incognito-like session. Using this context, we create pages. And then we proceed to perform operations that we need to. And finally, when we are done, we close the browser instance. Pretty straightforward, right? I hope you understand the flow as this forms the basis of Playwright. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial where we will create our first Playwright script. Let's get this thing started.